Hi, I'm Bob Norton, founder of Airtight Management. And this is an introduction and overview to a very elaborate training on airtight management. Airtight management is the first ever proposed standard for the internal management systems of small to medium sized businesses that was developed to handle the problem that entrepreneurs really don't know how to shift gears as a company goes beyond somewhere between seven and 15 people. Typically an entrepreneur starts or continues to do things the way they did in a startup when they need to change their management style and install more systems to handle their growth. My own background is documented here. Uh, I started my career as a software engineer and quickly became a chief architect and then Chief Technical Officer and Vice President of Engineering. Grew two companies to over $100 million in sales, and I've been a CEO since 1989. But for the last 10 years, I've been a CEO of a couple of companies that are dedicated to training and consulting and coaching with CEOs and entrepreneurs in small to medium-sized businesses. My other background, as you can see on the slide, is that prior to becoming a CEO, I spent a lot of time uh, doing databases, information systems, and software for various industries, including Wall Street, the insurance industry, and quite a variety of other things. I also created the CEO Boot Camp, which is an intensive two day training for early stage entrepreneurs, and that's available on a 14 DVD set as well. Some of this material will overlap with that, about 10 or 20 percent of it uh, will be the same. But airtight management is designed for companies that are at least five people already and probably starting to be seven, 10, or 12 people before you start to install these systems. Management science is both art and science, and there are many layers of it. Uh, things that cannot be uh, put into words easily that come from experience and practice fit into these layers. And so thinking about these layers and the philosophy and values and how that impacts business, there are many books written on this, great books that will provide you references that every CEO and entrepreneur should read. Language and models, the jargon of management and leadership we're going to learn a lot about that and put more meaning behind it. Uh, and best practices in management that are standard things that have been figured out over the last 50 to 100 years that are generally the best way to handle things. Again, these may shift as a company gets bigger. And then something at the, at the bottom of this level is processes and procedures, which tend to be more company specific. So we can't teach you what the processes and procedures are for your company but we can give you the tools to develop those and to know what you need to develop in terms of systemization, automation, and various other things. This is a, a diagram of the six airtight management systems. And the reason we call it airtight management is because if you do all of these things well, you will have a closed loop system which creates what I call a Darwinian meritocracy. A Darwinian meritocracy is a company and a culture that adjusts as things change in the world, whether they're market changes, outside forces, the size of the company. You're building a culture that's self-adjusting and will evolve and automatically correct for many things that are going on. And so it creates a closed and, and sort of infallible system if you do all of these things right. Each of these systems needs to be laid in to a company at a particular size. And we're going to give you lots of reference material um, to figure out when you need each of these things. But I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the six systems. Strategic planning is actually the most complex and hardest one that requires the most experience because it encompasses a very broad view of a vision of the company, a vision of the future where the markets are going, and what you're building towards. So it includes things like doing competitive intelligence, doing market research, uh, doing branding, 
it's really figuring it out. This is a fairly elaborate process that as an expert, when I go into a company, it can take six to 10 full-time days to figure out the proper strategic plan. And a strategic plan becomes a living document that's adjusted, that has a lot of what-if scenarios and contingencies and gating points in it so that if certain things happen, you go in one direction. It isn't just a single clear step. So that's one of the most elaborate processes. And for that reason, I generally recommend that people start by doing pieces of that to know where they're going. And that will evolve as the company gets bigger. Obviously, a million dollar company does not need to spend $50,000 in figuring out what its strategic plan is. It's learning from the marketplace and adjusting. But once you're over a million dollars in revenue, you should have an annual strategic planning process. And we also sell a full kit with about 140 different files on the disk that help their tools to help you through that strategic planning process. I do recommend hiring a facilitator, an outside person that isn't drinking the Kool-Aid inside for strategic planning. But our strategic planning module is a complete framework to help you and your team through that process. And it's meant to teach you to fish as opposed to being just a consultant, a consultant coming in every year. Update that. It's very important that the whole team understand that. The second module of airtight management, we call for short PAMS, which stands for Performance, Accountability, and Merit System. That is a collection of best practices garnered from well over 50, maybe even 100 different management gurus of the last 50 to 75 years. One of my personal claims to fame is I've read over a thousand books now on management, leadership, entrepreneurship, and business. And I like to say I've stolen all the best ideas of all the best management gurus, repackaged them and putting them into a trainable format in airtight management and the CEO bootcamp so that instead of you having to read, you know, 100 or 200 books, you can get all of the major principles and best practices from airtight management. So it's basically a, a recooked recipe of all the best ideas in a very structured and trainable format. And in, in PAMS, you'll learn five different styles of management that every manager and executive to know, should know to be effective in growing a company. Uh, the third module in airtight management is called dashboards, but it also includes the principles of KPIs, which is key performance indicators or metrics of a business, and KANAI, which is constant and never-ending improvement. Dashboards are the tool that allow you to move to an autopilot for the business and scale and, and back off your management to do other bigger, more strategic things as the business becomes systematized. It gives you trend indicators. It allows you to focus people on what needs to be done. It gives you early warning indicators of what's happening in your market and all kinds of other things that will be helpful to your business. And it's a massively powerful tool. As a matter of fact, it's a big strategic advantage to have the right dashboard. Most people don't know how to create a dashboard. And most of the software companies out there that sell dashboards are focused on the pretty graphs and the, the database of numbers from a computing perspective. What we can teach you as a small company is how to use just plain spreadsheets to track these and how to track the right numbers because the magic and the impact is going to be in tracking the right things, which will give you a step-by-step -step process to figure out what those things are. Module number four is strategic budgeting. This is a strategic perspective on budgeting. Oftentimes, companies let the CFO or the controller or the accounting department be the driver of budgeting. And that tends to have a cost-only approach instead of an entrepreneurial-driven revenue and opportunity approach. So this is a much more holistic approach to annual budgeting and, of course, updating it as you learn more quarterly or maybe even monthly in a very young company where there's a lot of learning going on. Module five is about process documentation. Any company that's getting ready to scale or has to grow quickly needs to document its processes, either in flowcharts or in other documents, and be able to train those things and communicate them well, to have people on the same page and have the tools 
to train new people coming in. Otherwise, the intelligence base uh, or the equity or intelligence in the business of the managers gets diluted very rapidly and causes all kinds of problems. And the last system, which is typically installed at about 40 to 50 employees, is called Human Capital Acquisition and Development, or HCAD for short. HCAD is about controlling your culture. It, it has brand components in what your brand should be. There are some great stories and case studies that we'll go through about why big companies are successful and what they do in terms of managing and attracting and keeping the best people. So that's a system that, as, as all of these systems, goes across the whole business and influences the whole culture and allows you to tune your business as it grows. So those six systems will be installed somewhere between seven people and 50 people when there's the most rapid rate of change in a business. And I found at Airtight Management and my previous company, uh, C-Level Enterprises, simply because I realized most people didn't realize how much the style of management and the systems of management need to change as a company grows and shift gears. We actually, uh, this is just a reference slide that has the six systems summarized. We actually use a, uh, a diagram like this to show that all of these systems sit on top of every discipline. Does not matter whether you're a manager in software development or marketing or sales or operations or finance or manufacturing. All of these systems are generically applicable and abstracted at the strategic level to be used in the whole business. And that's one of the things that makes uh, airtight management very unique. Unlike some of the other systems out there that are, are pieces of the puzzle, this is a complete closed system that goes across every layer of the business vertically and every department or division of the business horizontally. And it creates a standard to be able to scale and manage the business and, and really generate a lot more competitive advantage that's sustainable for the business in every area of the business. Because competitive advantage does not just come from the product. It comes from good marketing and messaging. It comes from better sales strategies. A, a competitive advantage uh, can be garnered from almost any area of the business. And these tools will help you do that to optimize the business in many ways.